Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you guys are new here. It's Tiffany with Small Town Six and today I'm bringing you that monthly open collab that me and my very good friend Jessica Myros host. Um, it's an open collab for everyone to just participate and share their grocery hauls because everybody goes grocery shopping and everybody lives somewhere completely different. So it gives you lots of fun ideas of what they have or what they get at different grocery stores that maybe are available or aren't available near you so you can get some awesome ideas. So I will link the group playlist down below and also my girl Jess's channel down below so you can go check it all out and get you some ideas for the week. This week guys I am bringing you an Aldi haul because you know that is my favorite place to grocery shop and the most affordable. So this week I spent, um, I didn't need as much meat plus they were out of the chicken. Um, they did have chicken thighs on special. Um, for their special buy, it was like $2.49 or, two, no, I'm sorry, like $1.99, but I did not like chicken thighs. So, chicken breasts were actually up, but still lower than they had been um, at $2.49, but they were completely out of the family packs and completely wiped of the frozen chicken, except for chicken wings. But, um, so I will improvise. I actually changed my meal plan while I was in the store to accommodate the lack of what I needed. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and get started with this haul guys. I actually had like another mini haul because my husband is going to cook some dinner at work. At his work they cook sometimes. So I just got a mini haul of that to separate it out so you guys could see the total difference. But I also share my meal plan for the week and I always put those videos up on Sundays. But let's go ahead and get started. Okay, starting over here. Um, I would plan to go to Sam's to get my paper towels because much better deal to go to Sam's than to get them at Aldi. But I was completely out so I had to get them for today because um, uh, our Sam's Club's about 25 minute drive so I don't have time to go today because of school and stuff. So got these. Um, they were $7.19. Pricey I think but I do not like the sparkle type of brand. I like the thicker ones and I'll never ever pay for like brawny or whatever for those prices. So this works. Strawberries are back up. They were $2.29. I like it last week because they were $1.69 last week but we do love strawberries, so like I said, I would rather buy this kind of stuff if the kids are going to snack on it than cookies. Um, it's all about moderation, I guess. Kids can have cookies too, but if they will eat this, I'll gladly give them fruit. Um, blueberries were on special. They were $2.99 this week. I know raspberries were $2.99, but blackberries were $2.09, but the packs are like little. So I figured let's just double up on blueberries because the girls absolutely love blueberries. Um, avocados are super expensive. Um, they were like $1.29 for one large. And then they didn't have any bagged ones. The regular bag were $4.99, which equals out to about four, probably medium. These were organic. These were looking the freshest um, and cheaper in price compared to the large ones when I priced it out. So these were like $5.19 for the organic. I don't really care about the organic part of it. It's just these probably won't take weeks to get it right, but Ryan eats them every day. So I got those. Definitely pricey. Um, bananas, I think they're like 29 cents a pound. Pineapples were on special for like $1.69. And they were looking really fresh. If I will just make myself cut that up. Cantaloupe was still $2.49. Um, these are prices in Kentucky where I live. So I do love the cantaloupe. Garden salad, hopefully we'll eat it this time. Last time I got a bag that went bad too quickly because you really got to look at these bags. Um, I spent years just chopping my own, but honestly, um, I just got these. So it's easy. Eggs are still up. I think they're like $2.49. They limit you on six of them. Just got two. The kids are loving boiled eggs lately. I only need one loaf of bread because we still have plenty. Nobody's eating much bread lately. Got some marinara. Um, this was in place of pizza sauce. So I will just make my own for a recipe. This is for a recipe and so is this. Just cheap. Then you guys, I almost bought ground beef. They actually had um, something new in there on special for $4.49. They had ground, what do you call that? Grass-fed beef for, for like $4.99 a pound. So you could get the four patties for $4.99 I think. They look pretty appetizing, but I didn't pick it up. I just want to pick this up because it was actually on special too for five something. I needed two pounds, so this is a little over two pounds, and I'll just half that. That's all I needed. 
Um, so, no beef this week again. Um, I got some hash brown potatoes. Kids love those. We throw them in the air fryer breakfast mornings. Um, just need some cooking spray. Prefer theirs. Almond milk I get every week. You guys know. I I'm so addicted to this stuff. I get so sad if I'm out of it. I know I can make my own. And I know um, that I would save money. But honestly, I, I am every now and then the type of person that likes to get a coffee from somewhere. But... Honestly, buying one of those at Starbucks is like five bucks and you suck it down. And this tastes much better. I will pick this any day over any local coffee shop because I really, really, really like this coffee. So if you've never tried it, you know, I put creamer in it. I've heard a lot of people like it, just black. But this is so good. I don't know how to explain it. There's nothing like that. Um, I got some milk. Got our no pulp orange juice because you guys know. Okay, I got 8,000 biscuits. I actually told the guy, so do you think I got enough biscuits today? This, there's a reason for it. It's all gonna be part of a meal plan I have going on. Actually, I think I shorted myself one, but um, yes, I got biscuits, which thank goodness I did because I was hoping for the best because one week it was, there was a shortage for a few weeks, if you remember, in areas where they didn't have biscuits. Um, got some crescent rolls. Actually, I'm just gonna double a recipe I'm gonna make. So I got that. I got this. I hate tomato soup, but it goes in a recipe. So I'm hopefully not going to be able to taste that. Um, cream of chicken for recipe. This I always just get to stock up on and ugh, the price is stupid on that now. It's $1.39. Got some sour cream. Me and Ryan like these. So I just get these sometimes for a quick lunch if we're just running because you don't have to drain it or anything. You can eat it right out of the packet. It's really good. I was looking for my quinoa chips to go with it, but Aldi must have stopped selling them now. It was nice while it lasted. This, I don't normally see the Parmesan with Romano. I usually only see the Parmesan there, unless it's seasonal. But today they had that, so same price. I just picked it up. This, I saw last time and passed by it because I will usually make my own meatballs with chicken, with ground chicken. But honestly, this was $4.99. It's already pre-made. I'll just throw these in a pan. These sound so good. Chicken chili verde chicken meatballs. And they got a lot of protein in them, and they're pretty healthy. I, and I'm actually going to heat these up in a few minutes because I'm dying to try these. These just, I don't know if they spoke to me. They had the Cinco de Mayo, like, leftovers going on. They didn't mark them down in price, but still. So I will let you know if these taste any good. Let me know if you guys have had these. They had another flavor, too. Then these were like a special of the week. Not that we need these, but honestly, I did switch my meal plan while I was in there where they didn't have chicken. This was something else I thought about making that you use already made chicken nuggets, which my kids are definitely a fan of. Um, but these were on sale. These were like $4.99, I think, for this huge bag. So, and it's, hopefully it's white meat. Yeah, my, white meat chicken. So, sometimes those are just nice to have on hand because I have a growing, like, man child that likes to have something else. Uh, ice cream. I always just get ice cream. Uh, black bean chips. Yes, I'm sad to say I ate almost this whole entire bag on the way home from Aldi last time. These things are so good. I can't say that they're healthier in the amount that I eat them because they are so, so good and they don't taste like cauliflower for those cauliflower people, like people that hate cauliflower. They're just really good. Got those for my kids that like Doritos. Got this because I'm going to make some Cheerio bars. I'll share that with you guys. Super easy recipe. Kids love it. Got some pretzels to dip in the hummus. Emily really likes that. They didn't have turkey pepperoni, guys. So I got real pepperoni. Um, it's for a recipe. Granola bars were just to stock up on. And these little bars just for like games and stuff. Um, I have been getting goji berries from a brand. But I'm not working with them right now. So um, I haven't ordered anything lately. So I got these. So I've never bought the cherries. Um, I actually hate cherries, but Ryan really likes cherries, so I thought these would be good to go in like his oats. Uh, French fried onion, this for a recipe. Coffee really jumped up. Usually the Colombian brand, like for generic coffee, is like the higher of the two. This was $6.19 today. I'm just going to be honest. It's cheaper to buy this from Sam's, like the Folgers brand, in the humongous tub because it's two dollars off right now and they will ship it for free to your door whether or not you have a plus membership because you know plus memberships you got free shipping you get free shipping and it costs double well coffee is one of the things they will ship for free so i didn't want to run out 
and just in case shipping got delayed so I went ahead and got that um but got some protein yogurt because I always get that the kids like these we usually freeze these and they're big fans of those so all of that all of that and then a case of water we're about 144 for this week so under budget but I didn't buy a ton of meat still I did splurge and buy two extra items that equal out to like 11 or 12 dollars and I did buy paper towels I don't normally buy there so give or take it would have been a lot less for our family of six but not too bad I was gonna show you guys this um, my kids got me a Mother's Day gift card to Amazon because they had no idea what to order I didn't want tan for our kitchen even though there's tan in there um, it was like my friend lemonade mom had one of these but it wasn't meant hers is like tan and I couldn't find a white one to go in our kitchen so I thought I like the minty color this is very minty but no this is not sponsored but I like to make muffins and cupcakes and I like the way the bakery thing looks so I thought it'd be cute to put like it's got little holes for freshness I thought it'd be cute to put muffins in so that's what this new thing is in my kitchen because um, I love to bake so if the kids are like hey when are you gonna fill this up mom because we're waiting but yeah I think I got this it's like 40 some dollars but I thought it was super cute they have all kinds of different types and then over here is my husband's work haul this is just because he's making french toast at his work for his local like for his employees he's working midnights so they like to cook because they have like a kitchen there so they've got some eggs two things of bread just got half a thing of milk hash browns and syrup and that was $13 for that and that's my hauls you guys also I wanted to show this uh, my friend Yvonne, who's a long-time subscriber here, <laughs> asked me about these. Um, she didn't want to get them, but her husband won't pick them up because he thinks they're cauliflower. Look at these. I just want to show you all in case you've been hesitant. They are like giant tortilla-looking chips. They are so good. Yeah, most of it's air, but I just wanted to show you those because they, you know, they do, they do say the word cauliflower, but they taste incredible. I could eat the whole bag in like one sitting. But that is what they look like. Okay, random haul that was $51 after my donation, I guess. So, I got markers because these have been marked up. Usually you can get these for like 50 cents other times of the year. But last time I was in there, they were like 3 or $4 for the generic ones. So, today they were $2.14. So, the girls needed some more markers to destroy. I'm going to try this shampoo out. I don't buy pricey shampoos. I do love Paul Mitchell, but I don't buy it. So, this was like... $6. I'm going to try this because I like the coconut smell. I need some more hamster food. I'm 5 foot 2. I literally had to climb the shelves to get to this because they didn't have any hamster food. Um, this smells amazing. All of these were $2. I guess they were originally $2.22. So they've got to mark down a bunch of them. But I love pineapples, coconuts, anything summery, beachy. This almost, I don't know has a certain smell it's like a reminds you of like a tropical Abercrombie and Fitch smell I don't know how to, how to word that right if you've ever been to Abercrombie and Fitch back in the day <laughs> it was the place to be it had such a great smell and this is almost like a beachy version but not overpowering and I got our little hamster Ed some of these little things he loves these and he loves these little things and then I was looking for dog treats and our dogs have to eat like they've got allergies Sadie does so we have to get things that have like fish or lamb stuff like that not, not the beef and these were on clearance last two bags for $2.68 for this huge thing it had been $10 and something for these yes they're little tiny things but a long time ago I did a review uh, for Woe Pet and I've got like this dispenser with a camera on it to watch the animals and I couldn't find treats that would fit in it these will fit perfectly and shoot the little treats out to them while we're gone so I'm excited about that um, and the deal because these would have been like ridiculous this would have been $22 to buy these two bags normally but I paid like four dollars and something or five so there is that and then the reason I went to Walmart was to get thank you stickers from the online shop I'm starting but I couldn't find them just I've been to five places looking for them I'm just gonna order on Amazon there's that part. And here is what I went for. This is, I go to Sam's and Sam's doesn't beat Walmart's price, even though they're owned by each other. 
in the dollar stores and all that. I just spent a fortune buying dog food. You can go, this is $23 because my dog needs lamb. Um, $23 for, what is this, 40, 48, 48 pounds of Purina dog food. So, heck of a deal if you go into Walmart and get it. And you can order it online and they'll ship it to you too. But, highly recommend it if you're looking for it. My dog is, has done much better with this dog food. Okay, here is the meal plan for the week, subject to change. Sorry for the terrible glare. It is sunny in here today. So, we'll just start at the top, even though you won't see it this day. So, Monday, um, Sloppy Joe Biscuit Bake with probably some type of veggie and maybe some, some potatoes we have because I didn't buy any this week. Um, Tuesday is Chicken Bubble Up Biscuit Bake, mashed potatoes, corn. This is a new recipe I haven't tried out yet. Wednesday is barbecue chicken pizza. This is a new recipe too, but it sounded really yummy. So hopefully we'll get that one made. Thursday is loaded mashed potato meatloaf casserole. I was supposed to make this on my last meal plan, but um, and I may have to change this again because I don't have enough potatoes, I don't think. But it's on my meal plan. If I don't make it this week, I'll make it next week. Uh, Friday biscuit parm sliders with french fries and veggies. This is also new and super easy. Saturday biscuit pepperoni pizza bake. This is a new recipe again. Uh, probably with some salad or veggie or something, but this sounded really easy and good. You guys know I love tacos, so this is a new take on tacos. This is taco biscuit casserole. Yeah, we got a biscuit theme going on here. Um, and then probably refried beans or some sort of veggie like that. And then this is optional, like to do in here, biscuits and gravy biscuit bake. This is also new. I haven't made that before because I usually just make traditional biscuits and gravy. Um, and then cowboy cornbread casserole. This is just a filler. Um, I didn't make it last week like I'd planned to. It's very similar to another recipe I do. So if I need to swap it out based off of what the store has, then I will make that. So there you go. And life happens and we get takeout sometimes and, you know, leftovers or whatever. So, it's not always what you see on a what's for dinner because sometimes it doesn't happen. <laughs> but there's some ideas. Okay, friends, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it gave you some ideas of what Aldi has going on right now in their store. Don't forget, if you guys are new, please hit that notification bell and the subscribe button. Um, the notification bell just lets you guys know every time I upload um, because YouTube sometimes will pull the subscriptions. But I appreciate it guys so much. Don't forget to check out the group playlist and Jess's channel. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.